We're here with Todd Howarth, formerly of Fraley's Comet, also played with Cheap Trick, but now, this is the big one, Four by Fate, the new band. Woohoo! With uh, Sean Kelly of Neller Furtado and Crash Kelly, uh, John Regan, of course, of Peter Frampton, and he played with Fraley's Comet, and of course, Stet from Wasp. Wasp. Sweet. Yeah, you know, it's, it's it's a great combination. I mean, you've got guys, you know, Frampton is this classic rock, and of course Wasp is metal, and Sean does, does his thing. Yeah, I, I'm so excited. I mean, we've yet to play with each other um, uh, as a group. That's <laughs> funny. As a group collectively. Uh, and we're all looking forward to it based on our experiences and uh, the depth of the talent. Um, and it's, um, I mean, of course, you know, I, I play with... Uh, with John, of course, and I know that that solid aspect, and and I'm thrilled to be playing with him again in a live sense. Uh, Stet, I can't wait for us to get together and, and pound out that rhythm section. Yeah. Uh, and then Sean is uh, he seems like such a uh, a great technical technical and um, uh, fluid player that I'm looking very forward to play with somebody that that has his uh, expertise. Yeah, it's going to be great. He's also a great songwriter now. You know, you you had done these couple of songs on the this Kiss tribute I had done, and mm -hmm. you had thought of maybe getting this group out there and playing some some Kiss covers. But now we're doing new music. So what what kind of new music are you looking forward to? Well, I you know I think that the the initial idea is to get out there and play a few songs that uh, a lot of the Comet people uh, wanted to hear, never haven't heard in a while, or or never heard for that matter. Um, and we're just going to kind of brush up with with with. Um, some common stuff, uh, of course, Ace stuff, which is Kiss related, uh, yeah, and yeah. pick out a few songs from some of the big bands that we've all played with. Yeah, um, and that'll help develop the style uh, for writing the new material yeah. uh, if yeah. that chance. I mean, we're really looking forward to that chance as well. Um, I think it's kind of baby steps. Yeah. Um, get the we, band on the road first. Yeah, yeah, and and get get the identity and the feel. Uh, in the character can, I guess, uh, to coin a ridiculous phrase. Uh, and we should know inside of a couple of rehearsals how it's going to feel. I mean, once you feel that pulse, and it's, it's like auditioning. Some of you go, oh, it's, this is going to work to this degree or not going to work to that degree. Uh, but I, I just, we all have a good feeling. John was the first one that expressed the good feeling about uh, how the band's going to sound yeah. uh, as soon as we get together. So uh, that will really determine what the new direction will be. And it's definitely going to be a graduation from, uh, you know, it's not going to be Freddy's Comet. It's going to be, you know, four by fate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're playing simple. But anyway, you slice it, knowing the players, it's going to be hard rock and it's going to be melodic. Yeah. And, and that's, uh, I don't really, I'm not that familiar with uh, Sean's writing as, as, as much as he is familiar with mine. Um, I, I probably not that much either, but I think that uh, the element of heaviness will definitely be defined easily with John because yeah. he can do anything. Uh, Stet, I mean, what I heard him play is like pounding, like, oh man, I just can't wait to get behind a Marshall and, and play with Stet. And then with Sean's ability to do his acoustical brilliance, you know, which, uh, and then his electrical stuff, which I've already heard both, I'm like, it's just like, oh yes. Uh, uh, once again, I may be the least talented person in this whole project. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I you know, doubt that. It, it's 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 fun though because like if you run against somebody that's faster than you are, you, you eventually learn how to catch up or get left in the dust. But no, I'm really excited to uh, to do this, and I, I think um, it's definitely going to be heavy melodic. Um, I've already got a whole bunch of songs that I've been working on for my solo stuff, but now I'm going hmm. Maybe this will work for four by fate, you know. Yeah. And it's funny if some people have already written in, they've said four by four. So that's a nasty little habit. Uh, that even sometimes they go four by fate, four by fate, four by fate. Now it's such a brand new name. So it's a great and, name. It really is a great name, by the way. Yeah, it it really is. I mean, um, when we were first, or when actually Danny was first bringing it up, uh, everybody was really uh, jumping on, it, and I was. Uh, you know, I liked it, I, but I, I was the, the continual shopper in me. So, well, let's, okay, well, let's, let's think about some other things. Just have some more variety, see what we can, uh, options, I guess. And, uh, uh, but everybody said, no, that's a pretty good name. So I said, that's it. That's what it's going to be then, because that's what the band wants. And, and I mean, I like it. And I asked, we asked, of course, um, 
uh, and I, I, it's working out great. So uh, they were right. <laughs> yeah, they they really were right. I mean, it, it's you know. But l now let's look at you. Since the Fraley days, you've done a couple of solo albums. Have you been touring a lot? Well, let's catch people up with where where you are in terms of touring and and wanting to get back on the road. You know, I I really did. Um, when, when when I left the Comet in, in 88, I was really hoping to get something going with the solo project. Um, the, the, of course, the changing face of music with grunge coming in, as I've said before, uh, really just pretty much wiped the sl slate clean for me yeah. trying yeah. to get out with a solo band on the old style material. Even though I really liked a lot of that heavy, new, fresh stuff, it just killed me career-wise. So, But I, I continued to try. Uh, I went through about three different incarnations of bands, and the, the, the percentage of chance of, of having that happen, it just it tanked. I, you know, it was business and, and just what the people wanted to hear at that time. Uh, so I went back to play with uh, Cheap Trade for another about six years. And I was constantly trying to do solo stuff and hoping I could get something off the, the ground level, but it was just increasingly hard. Uh, I wasn't kidding myself. Um, uh, I, I had high hopes, uh, but it just didn't work out uh, like I wanted it to. And uh, so, in after stop playing with uh, stopping playing with Cheap Trick in uh, late '96, I just continued with some solo efforts and was hoping to get out there. But I always wanted to get back into a band. Yeah, um, and, and, and a not, band with John too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That I mean, that's that's a great. We've been talking about it for a few years now. And that's a dream come true as, you know, he's a great guy, um, as is Sean and Stet, because we've all talked on the phone and just, wow, this just, a, yeah, and you go like this, you go, ah, I hope it works out because it's such a great guy, guys. Um, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to be back in a project, a band that is a band. I mean, this, this is not the Todd Howard project. This is, right. you know, it's nobody's solo project. It's like, what can we do together as a band, you know, and, and that's, I really enjoy that. I, I really do. Yeah, and there's a, there's a, there's a great um, energy and, and, and vibe and expectations from the fans right off the bat. I mean, you announced it a couple of days ago, and your, the likes on your Facebook page are growing, and people are talking about it, and the press is picking up on it, or the rock press at least. Yeah. It's got to be it's, very it's, rewarding, and, and you haven't even stepped out the door yet. Yeah, it's, the adrenaline push is tremendous, I, and it feels good. Um, I'm very thankful for that. I really am. Uh, it's, it's one of those things where you get all this response, positive stuff, and you go, okay, let's get it out now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But we're not quite at that point, you know, because I was, uh, actually, I was in my studio when it, I knew we were going to uh, reveal on Tuesday, and but I hadn't heard anything. So I was at my studio working on songs and stretching the vocal cords, and I come home, do some more stuff on the computer. All of a sudden, it pops up, and I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, here we so are. I'm trying to get back to everybody. I just can't. I feel badly about that. Uh, but yeah, it was it was encouraging. Um, we, we we will follow through as soon as quickly and and as best as we can uh, get the ball going. Uh, and hopefully there'll be a place out there for us that people can come and enjoy the music. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I think there will be. And any shows lined up? Any any rehearsals lined up? When when does this? When does it get rolling? We, we have a calendar of everybody's events and what we're doing, and it pretty much frees up, I think, of inside uh, about a month, I think, maybe even sooner. Uh, that's really contingent upon what Danny uh, Stanton can do or will do, can do, based on the, what's available out there. Uh, I'm not really sure what our lead time has to be, but there is nothing right now, um, and it may, that may take a little bit of work. We don't really have every, all the parts assembled. Um, one thought I had, and I'm sure everybody else has had, is that while we're getting ready to do some live shows, you know, we should maybe think about, you know, cutting maybe some tunes. I agree. Uh, absolutely agreed. So, uh, uh, two or three, just some teasers to get out there. I mean, we could do two pretty quickly. I mean, uh, and then between Sean and myself, uh, and of course, you know, John and Stet and whatever they may have, get out there and just get, to, get some good tunes out there and, and create a primer. Um, and that may, in fact, uh, come to pass. Don't know yet. Let's hope. Let's hope. Um, your uh, ex-boss, if we can call him that, Ace, is getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fames. And any words about that? I think it's great. I mean, it's it's silly that they haven't been inducted earlier. I mean, um, you know, I 
people have misconceptions of my perception of Kiss. And even though I, I tell the truth, you know, that I was never a big Kiss fan in the, in the uh, beginning, uh, there's absolutely no reason the, the you know, the greatest uh, American show band and band should not be inducted in the Hall of Fame. And it's, great, it's great. about time. I don't follow it closely, so I don't get all bent out of shape about it. But uh, what little I have heard, um, I, my contention was, well, how come they're not already in? Uh, I think it's great. I, I see some of the political things that are happening with uh, with Eric and Tommy and and uh, I, as some of this justified, I, I can't really be an authority about, about it as far as, you know, the fans want this or the, the fans don't want that. And uh, I do believe that uh, wholeheartedly, it, it, you know, the principal four members should be in. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, period. Absolutely. And that, that's the way it should be. How they want to decide to handle it, you know, that's up to uh, the band and, and uh, uh, the powers uh, that. Uh, that's be. With, uh, yeah, that be. Should, <laughs> should, should, should Cheap Trick get in? You know. I think they should. I mean, I've always thought, even when I was back in my top 40 days when I was doing Cheap Trick songs, I always thought they were a great band. I, yeah. I still think they're a great band. And great American band. Yeah, it, it's Robin Zander's one of the, the best underrated rock and roll singers of, of all time, let alone in the in America. Uh, yeah, they should definitely be in. I mean, the the band, when I, when I first started playing with them, like, this is, you know, this is great. I, I mean, it's just smoke and stuff. And, I mean, a lot of people didn't like them because they thought they were too poppy. But I liked the dark part of, of uh, Cheap Trick when they were you know, first coming out. Like, wow, this is some dark and heavy and unorthodox uh, arrangements. Yep. And, of course, Robin's voice. Pff, just Yeah, they should definitely be. They in. should definitely be. In. Well, thank you. So we, people should go to uh, facebook.com slash or backs or forward slash 4 by fate. There's yep. the uh, 4 by fatecom website that just uh, launched uh, today. Just looked up. It's being built. I, I just checked it out myself, reading all about shit I didn't know. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you. Mitch, thank you very much. And you are, uh, you've are you got a big hand in this. And, and again, thank you so very much for being the catalyst behind it. Probably well, more well. than some people know. Uh, and uh, good luck with your future endeavors and your past endeavors. And, and I can't tell all you from the box. All the endeavors. Thank you. And thank yeah. you for, for contributing to the uh, A World with Heroes Kiss tribute. It, that made my day. My pleasure, and I'm so glad you asked me. Oh, absolutely. Hold on.